So we're two inches. By an inch and an eighth. By an inch and an eighth. For my tiller tamer thingy. It's back out in the garage. I took uh, some measurements while I was at the boat. And this is for my tiller tamer that I want to build. The thickness of my tiller is three inches. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be my tiller tamer. I'm going to measure three inches from here, mark it on here, and I'm going to bend this part into a loop. So there's my mark. I know it's perfect. Black on black. Super easy to see. Yeah, right there. So my idea is to, to make a bend this into a loop down here. And that loop will be what I run a uh, line through, and that will be what attaches my my to my tiller, I guess, when I tighten it. Okay, I got my cool glasses on again. I'm gonna use this torch to heat this up so I can bend it into a circle with these. Let's see how that goes. Contact. Gonna heat up this bottom part a bit. So here's our prototype. Yeah, I use my patented quick to cool technique. That's a bucket of water. Okay. Uh, my idea is I should cut this off down here. There we go. Got a few little touch-ups here with the file. And these are from the marks made by uh, the teeth on this. Trying to bend it. And I think I've got it now. There we go. Look at that focus. Golly. <laughs> That's going to go through my tiller. Uh, and I will so the little hole and hook will be underneath. And I will crank on this thing like that. And it will pull it up into the tiller, thus tightening the, uh, the rope. I will have to make a little bit of a hole in the bottom of my tiller, I think. Okay, yeah, I was just, just measured this again. It's gonna work fine. I will put a little uh, hole in the bottom of my tiller, uh, about a quarter of an inch deep, and that will uh, look after any uh, any slop that I have. I'll, I can also add uh, washers to the top and still turn it in a bit to tighten it. So lots of adjustment. So here's an example of how this is going to work. This will be up underneath the tiller. So this will be the bottom of the tiller there, or the tiller handle. The line will go through here. And when you pivot this, it's going to pull this up into the bottom of the tiller handle. If you look here, it's like it... It squishes this down, this cam acts like that. It squishes it down, pulling this up and in. So there's my prototype. 
we'll uh, take some drills out and uh, install it, see what happens. All right, what all can go wrong? I'll have to, uh, I'll have compromised my tiller <laughs> because I'll be drilling a hole through it, but it's gonna be a, a pretty small hole. Whatever size this is, it's pretty small. So here's my tiller. Here's my piece that's going to go through and that's how it's going to work. I'm going to be drilling a <clears throat> 5 8 hole uh, in the bottom of the tiller handle and it's because it it will fit this nicely. So I'm going to put it about here. Let's uh, lean this up and uh, Drill a hole. I'm not going very deep with this 5 8 so I'll go maybe quarter of an inch max. Drill down from the top first. It's kind of important to get this straight. Drilled my hole through. Um, you have to watch when you're using these. When you drill through the bottom, it uh, splits it. Uh, it's no big deal for me because I'm making it larger. hole going through straight but that's not gonna matter that's uh, what I'm after there this will go up through here and you can see how it's gonna pull the, the rope tighter as I tighten it I'm gonna go a little bit deeper and this should be perfect Let's take a look at this now yeah that's gonna be perfect there and just be able to slide when this is loose tighten it that's where I'm gonna leave it today thanks for watching please click the clicky things and uh, tell your friends to subscribe thanks <laughs>